Councilmember Helena Brown here representing District A with today's uh, agenda votes report for September the 12th. I voted to no to 29% of the items on today's agenda. The first item, uh, agenda item number one, was uh, shortening ballot language for a charter amendment. The city has passed two charter amendments for this coming upcoming election which will in effect not allow the constituents of the city of Houston to place on the ballot any future ba uh, ballots for the next three years any charter amendments. And all these charter amendments that have been passed by council for this year do is clean up our charter. And when they know full well there's that limitation on how often we can place charter amendments on the ballot, for us to do that is, uh, was unacceptable. And so uh, we need to really uh, notify our council members that we need to be following the uh, needs of the constituents of Houston and allow them to do what they want to do in terms of charter amendments and the like. Item number seven is a hundred and fifty point seven thousand dollars for a hike and bike trail. Item number eight is a matter of property rights. We need to stand up for the rights of the citizens of Houston, the businesses of Houston. This matter is uh, in District B where a resident, uh, some of his property was taken, nine acres uh, taken for a city of Houston projects and it was taken through eminent domain and the amount of money that they were uh, giving him for the piece of property was not acceptable to the to the resident and the uh, nine acres was more than what the city actually needed many issues there and we need to make sure that the rights of the citizens are protected in the city of Houston. Item number 20 is uh, matters dealing with TSA, the Houston Airport Systems, for design and pre-construction services to the amount of $1.6 million for um, the explosive detection system equipment identified by TSA as, as being uh, needed for replacement. Um, we need to really evaluate how, how much of that we're gonna, we should be doing as a city and, and dealing with more and more intrusion by TSA and uh, expenses on, that, on, that, on their part as well. I, item number 21, the same, uh, dealing with TSA and uh, Houston Airport Systems for design and pre-construction, this one in the amount of $250,000. Item number 23, dealing with homelessness, uh, $51.8,000, uh, better spent in the private sector who, where they know how to spend those dollars wisely and really get a positive impact on uh, fighting homelessness. Uh, item number 24, another philanthropic item in nature, uh, the administration operation of a child care program. Item 25, again, uh, $208,000 on the administration operation of a juvenile delinquency program. Item number 30 is uh, establishing an interlocal agreement with the Texas Forest Service. And we need to be careful how many interlocal agreements we're getting on board with, especially as we need to maintain ourselves as a sovereign city. And this is in regards to 11 courses regarding hazardous uh, prevention and the like. Number 33 is a 10-year lease agreement to house WIC at $140,000 a year. Item number 35 is a Lake Houston Park project to the tune of $950,000. Let's prioritize uh, here and then while it's a very nice idea doing this new bridge reconstruction cabins, additional tent platforms, restrooms and showers and the like, uh, we need to be fixing our streets and roads and, and flooding matters in the city of Houston before we're spending $950,000 on um, the Lake Houston Park project. Item number 36, also uh, a park project, the Sylvan Rodriguez Park, to the tune of $700,000 for a concrete parking lot, fields, lighting, electrical service, sidewalks, landscape, and irrigation. We do have to prioritize in parks. It should not be a priority right now in this financial situation that the city is facing. 
And the final item is uh, item number 40, also a park project. It's the Keegan's Bayou Trail, Hike and Bike Trails. Uh, this is a continuation of a greater project, and this portion of the project is $90,000. We, we saw in today's uh, agenda report that in only four items, we spent a total of $1.9 million for hike and bike and park projects in just one week. We've got to be more conscious of what we're doing with the city's tax dollars. That's the report for this week. See you next time.